Hello friends, welcome to this teleconferencing session of Indira Gandhi National Open University. We are going to discuss uh, detail about MA education program. This is a type of induction program and uh, four different sessions on different aspects of MA education program. First session will be on MA education program, its objectives and structure. Second session will be courses under MA education program. Third session will be dissertation that is MESP001 which is one of the practical component a project course of MA education program. We will be discussing detail about this dissertation course and its operational issues. And the fourth session will be on instructional activities in MA education program. So friends, uh, before uh, starting our discussion, uh, let me to introduce myself. I, Dr. Niradhar De, Associate Professor, School of Education, Indira Gandhi National Open University. Welcome you all. I am also coordinator of MA education program. Such type of induction program uh, are being conducted by the regional centers and uh, uh, it is also conducted by the study centers. This is one of the effort from the IGNU main campus. First session is uh, on MA education program, its objectives and structure. As you know, this is one of the popular program of Indira Gandhi National Open University. We are getting a substantial number of learners every session uh, who are interested to pursue MA education program. Now, let me to focus upon the important objectives and aims of this program. The first objective, this program uh, will help you to provide learning experiences which will enable students to understand and appreciate knowledge structures and paradigms of education. Many a time, learners ask questions to us that uh, uh, whether education is a discipline or not. If education is a discipline, just like other discipline, you can say history as a discipline, political science as a discipline, sociology as a discipline, uh, many a time it creates, uh, you know, a little confusion to the minds of the learners that whether education is a discipline or not. Yes, education is also a discipline. And if you go through the knowledge base, if you go through, you know, the knowledge discourses that are included in this program, you will definitely understand and you will de definitely find out that how this program is an important program and how this program engages the learners in different ways to understand education. It may be to understand the pedagogy, to understand the school education system, to understand the higher education system, to understand educational management, educational technology, distance education system, which that we call as the alternative system of education, and at the same time adult education and different core areas of education. And this program will also help you to understand different perspectives and context of education. It may be to understand education from philosophical perspective, from sociological perspective, from historical perspective, and at the same time, from pedagogic perspective also. So that's why the first objective that cater in this program, it will help you to understand education and its paradigms, education and its knowledge base, ed education and its perspectives in different areas. Another objective of this program is to understand education as a discipline from different context and perspectives. As I was talking earlier, to understand education from the philosophical perspective. The practices that we do in the school education system, even in the higher education system, how do we frame a curriculum? And what pedagogic practices we do in different subjects in school education? What pedagogy we practice in uh, to teach science, to teach language, to teach mathematics, and to teach other subjects also? Accordingly, when we come to the higher education system, what pedagogy we use. So that's why here pedagogy is one of the perspective to understand the educational discourses. Uh, this is also the objective to understand education from different pedagogic practices, further to understand education from philosophical as well as from the uh, psychological and sociological perspectives. You know, uh, uh, whatever we do in education system in our school practices, this is very much related with, associated with our societal practices. So that's why we call school and community, school and society are linked, are related with each other. Both uh, uh, agencies, 
uh, you can say community or the society or school that helps that construct and that contributes for the development of others. That means school helps for the development of the society and equally society also helps for the development of the schools, for the development of the education system in the schools. So that is why uh, uh, this program will help you to understand uh, education from the uh, societal practices, how the society is changing and how education is helping uh, to change the society and what type of social transformation, what type of mobility is happening uh, in the society. That is also another part. And so far as if I will talk on uh, the philosophical perspective of education, here uh, you will find that uh, 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 what is the concept of different uh, schools of, uh, uh, you can say schools of thoughts. It may be idealism, it may be naturalism, it may be pragmatism. So, how they conceptualize education and accordingly how this has been practiced in our curriculum, how this has been practiced in our school system. And further, if I will uh, uh, you know, uh, talk upon different, uh, uh, you know, uh, the eminent philosophers, the eminent edu educationist, it may be Mahatma Gandhi, it may be Swami Vivekananda, Sri Aurobindo, Rabindranath Tagore, as well as the Western philosophers, how they conceptualize education and according to them, according to their concept how curriculum has been uh, developed and how pedagogy has been developed and how uh, uh, interactions between teacher and students are taking place in the schools, in the education system. So that is also another part. So that is why this course will also help you to understand uh, education from the philosophical perspectives and at the same time from the historical perspective also to understand education from historical perspective. As you know, uh, if I will go through the development of education in our country. So, it is a uh, you can say huge history starting from the ancient time to this modern time. So, uh, what type of education system, what type of instructional practices was uh, practicing at the ancient system of education within the uh, between the gurus and sishyas, what type of instruction, what type of education, what type of educational discourses were taking place at that time. And further, in other time, uh, you can take the example of the medieval time and at the modern time, how changes have been taken place and how uh, changes have been taken place in different stages of education. The concept of school education at the medieval time, then at the British time and at the modern system of education. And I can also give you the example that uh, the recommendations of different committees and commissions, it may be from uh, after independence, the first education commission that is the university education commission. So, what is the recommendation, what are the recommendations of university education commission and how the recommendations of university education commissions have been implemented uh, for shaping education in our country and further uh, to understand the historical perspective of education, you will go through the recommendations of the secondary education commission which is very much uh, uh, you know based upon the school education system, the secondary education system and partly it also discusses about uh, you know uh, uh, the further education also. Then uh, the Kothari Commission 1964-66, then uh, the uh, National Education Policy 1968, then National Education Policy, National Policy on Education NPE 1986 and further at this moment we are in NEP 2020, National Education Policy 2020. So, how changes have been taken place over the years, how the structure of education have been changed, how the pedagogic practices have been changed and how the management in the school system has been changed over the times. So, that is also another important aspect. So, that is why to understand education, to understand the education system, we should understand the historical uh, uh, perspective also. So, this program will help you to understand education from historical perspective also and at the same time to understand education from psychological perspective. So, friends to understand psychological perspective means when we talk about teaching and learning. So, you will find that many concepts, many theories, many principles that are uh, being practiced in psychology. And, and which are also that are developed in psychology and are practiced in education. That is how learners learn, how to teach, how to teach a particular subject, what are the different maxims of teaching, what are the different methods and techniques will be used to teach the students. 
and what techniques and methods we can use to teach mathematics. Okay, certain specific practices are there to teach a particular subject. The methods and techniques to teach a language subject, it may be English literature, it may be Hindi or other regional languages, languages are something different uh, to teach mathematics. And again, it is also something different to teach science as well as social sciences. Okay, so that is why this course will also help you to understand the psychological principles, the psychological laws, the psychological theories that are being practiced in education. So that is why the second objective that is this program will help you to understand education as a discipline from different contexts and perspectives. Another objective is to develop professionals for effective participation in educational actions and discourses in different areas of education. As I have already said that this program will create a group of learners, a group of practitioners who will work in different sector of education. Okay? It may be educational management, it may be in school education, it may be in higher education. Okay? So that is why this program will help you to understand education, to understand its very nature. Then accordingly it will also help you to engage yourself in different uh, areas of work, in world of work. Further, uh, another objective is to create a community of scholars adequately equipped for participation in educational discourses. Many a time learners ask a question that whether they are eligible to be a teacher educator or not. Let me to say, uh, as per NCTE which is the regulatory body of uh, uh, you know, uh, teacher education program, that is National Council for Teacher Education, if you go through uh, the regulations of NCTE 2014, you will find that for two years B. Ed. program, uh, uh, you know, the candidates who have pursued a B. Ed. degree with M. Education program, uh, they are eligible to be a teacher educator. They are eligible to teach uh, in different teacher education institutions, particularly to prospective courses, particularly to core courses, just like uh, philosophical perspective of education, psychological perspective of education, sociological perspective of education, measurement and evaluation, other types of prospective courses. They are not eligible to teach H per NCT uh, uh, to the pedagogy courses, that is pedagogy of science, pedagogy of social science, pedagogy of uh, you know, uh, language and literature and pedagogy of other subject, but they are very much eligible to teach. Uh, uh, to the B.A. trainees in teacher education in institutions, particularly uh, uh, to the prospective courses. So accordingly, this is also the objective. It creates, this program creates a community of scholars adequately equipped for participation in different educational discourses and they can use this program for their job field and uh, to uh, engage themselves uh, in teacher education profession as well as in other professions also. Uh, now, let me to focus upon some of the information relating uh, uh, to this program as this is an induction program, you should know all this uh, uh, before pursuing, before going through uh, detailed study uh, of different courses of this program. The eligibility of this program is a bachelor degree in any discipline with or without a degree in education from a recognized university, any graduate can pursue this program. Uh, this program has been developed in 68 credits. Uh, that is 34 credits in the first year and 34 credits in the second year. This is a two years program, minimum two years program and maximum four years program. Uh, in first year you have to study 34 credits and second year you have to study 34 credits. I will be discussing further what are the different courses that you have to study in the first year and what are the different courses that uh, uh, you will study in the second year. Uh, this program is offered both in the January as well as July session of every year as this is the practice of Indira Gandhi National Open University, we offer our program in both the sessions, in January session as well as July session. So that is why this program is offered in both the sessions. So far as medium of instruction of this program is concerned, many a time learners ask question whether they can write assignment, they can write term and examination in Hindi medium or not. Friends, though the program is developed in English medium, the material, the self-learning material that has been developed that is in the English language, but still then learners can write their assignment, term and examination and dissertation in Hindi medium. And uh, you will also get 
uh, assignment questions as well as torment examination questions in Hindi medium. So, that is why uh, though material is in English medium, if you want you can write in Hindi language also. And so far as program fee is concerned for the January 2023 session, you have already enrolled in this program and the learners who are the prospective learners who are watching this session, if you want to pursue this uh, program, you should have such information that uh, you know uh, total program fee of MA education is 18,000 that you can pay 9,000 at the first year and 9,000 at the second year. And now let me to focus upon the very program framework, the very program design that how the courses have been designed in different groups. MA education program comprises in four groups of courses with differential weightage just like first group that we call as group A that is on basic courses on education, group B is courses uh, under uh, core areas or you can say core courses, group C is courses on knowledge generation in education and group D is specialized areas in education. So, these are the four different uh, areas, four different groups the courses have been designed, courses have been grouped. What are the specific courses that are included in different groups of the program framework? Just like you see group A, you will find group A is basic course on education, course code is MES011 and course title is understanding education. This is a four, uh, four credit course and this course is offered in the first year of this program. So friends, uh, this is uh, you can say type of foundation course and this course uh, is a type of bridge course for the learners as the minimum eligibility uh, to pursue this uh, uh, MA education program is a bachelor degree. You know, uh, uh, the students who have already uh, pursued or already studied education as a subject uh, at their uh, graduation level or the learners who have pursued B.Ed. They have studied about educational discourses, the concept of education and the learners who have studied education as a discipline at the undergraduate level, they have also studied education. But as the minimum eligibility of this program is any graduate, maybe from science background, maybe from social science background, maybe from language, language background. So, for them this is the first course, though this is for all, but this course will mostly help to that group of uh, students uh, who have not studied education as a subject at their undergraduate level. This course will help you to understand the very concept of education, the very nature of education. So, that is why this is the first course, this is a type of foundational course, a very conceptual course and it will help you to provide concept, educational concept uh, to the learners. And in the second group that is the core courses, you will find four different courses are there in the second uh, group. Uh, course code is MES012, Education, Nature and Purpose. This is a six credit course and all these four courses are studied in the first year of your program. Then MES013, Learning, Learner and Development. This is also a six credit course. MES014, Societal Context of Education. This is also a four credit course. And MES015, Operational Dimensions of Education. This is also a six credit course. So, accordingly in group B, four different courses are there that caters different perspective just like education, nature and purpose. It will help you to understand education from the philosophical perspective as well as from the historical perspective. Second course learning, learner and development, it will help you to understand education from psychological perspective and MES 01 for societal context of education, this course will help you to understand education from the sociological perspective from the societal perspective and MES 015 operational dimensions of education, it will help you to understand education so far as the systems of education, the practices of education, education system, how we manage education uh, and uh, the different regulatory bodies of education, how uh, you can say curriculum are developed, how curriculum are practiced in school stage at the same time in higher education and, and in professional education stage also. So, that is why second group courses will help you to provide ample knowledge, ample understanding uh, to understand education from different perspectives. 24 credit courses uh, are there in the second group. Then third group 
two courses are included in this group. These courses are on knowledge generation in education. It will help you to understand and create uh, certain knowledge. You have to do understand educational research and at the same time to pursue a research also. So, keeping in consideration uh, for development of certain skills and competencies so far as conducting research and writing report two different courses are included in this group. Uh, the first one is MES 016, this is the course code and course title is educational research. This is studied in the first year of your program, this is a 6 credit course. And second course that is included in group C, course code is MESP 001, that is the dissertation. This is the practical oriented course, this is the project work and this is a 10 credit course. And total in this group uh, one theory course that you have to study in the first year and other practical and project oriented course, dissertation course that you have to study in the second year. If you will include the credits, so total 16 uh, credits you have to study from this uh, group. And uh, now go through the fourth group that is group D. This group is on specialized areas in education. So friends here you see five different specialized areas are there and you have to study these specialized areas in the second year of your MA education program. Five areas are just like higher education, you will find four different courses are included in higher education. Then distance education, five different courses are there and educational management and administration, four courses are there. Educational technology, four courses are there and in adult education, four courses are there. What you have to do, uh, the learners have to select any one area among the five areas and have to study all the courses in that area. Total credit in each area is 24. So friends what you have to do, among these five areas you have to select any one area. Let you have selected higher education as your specialized area in the second year. So what you have to do, under higher education you will find four different courses are there. You have to study all the four courses. You need not to study courses in other areas, only you have to focus upon higher education. If you have selected distant education, you will find five different courses are there. You have to study all the five, co uh, five courses that is under distance education. And if you will include the credits in each area, you will find total number of credits at 24. So accordingly in second year, you have to study 24 credits from one of the selected area among the five different areas for your program. Along with one specialized area, you have to do a dissertation that is a 10 credits. So, 24 and 10 that is 34 credits. You have to study 34 credits in the second year. Now, very briefly go through different courses that are included in the uh, <coughs> specialized area just like in higher education. Uh, four different courses are there, MES 101, 102, 103 and 104. In distance education, five different courses are there, MES 111, 112. 113, 114, 115. Then in educational management, MES 041, 42, 43 and 44. Educational technology, this area has recently revised. You will find the courses that is MES 131, 132, 133 and 134. And adult education, that is MAE 001, 002, 3 and 4. So these are the courses that are included uh, in the specialized area. And now let me to focus upon you know the program transaction, how we transact this program. First of all you will find you will get self learning materials, a complete package of learning materials that has been developed for this program. Then uh, assignment and term and examination uh, is a part of this program. You have to write the assignment and you have to appear at the term and examination. And uh, induction sessions will be conducted just like I am taking the induction session now. Then accordingly regional centers and study centers can also conduct the uh, induction programs. Then counseling sessions will also be conducted. Regular teleconferencing and interactive radio counseling sessions are being conducted in this program. And presently we are also uh, linking our learners by using different social media platform. It may be Facebook Live, it may be YouTube and other media also. Thank you.